Hi everyone, my name is Asat and welcome back to my Dungeon Siege 2 walkthrough on Elite Mode. Time to remove my fucking rig. You're not dead. I have done all you asked. Set me free. Very well. I can see no reason to restrain you further. Somehow, you have earned not only Amran's trust, but that of these two as well. Then I will leave at once for my village. Go to the Great Hall. There, you will find a sister named Tar. She will remove your ring, and she will give you your things. And my medallion? And your medallion. Thank you. You will now be more welcome in the village, I expect. Tar can help you on your first leg of the journey home. Watch your step carefully, stranger. You know that I will. Be on your guard, friend. Valdis will have heard of your attacks. He will want to exact his vengeance. My friends, I will keep... Uh, oh my god. And Valdis will god what he deserves. Uh... Bravery has saved my daughter. I cannot think of what might have happened had you not found her when you did. May Al Haq rot forever. Please, take this with my gratitude. Thank you. Tansy has told me of her terrible time with the Haku. If it happened as she said, and one attacked another, then now is the time to strike. I am in peace. What must be done? The time to defeat the Haku is now. If they are fighting amongst themselves, they will be distracted and open to attack. No, it's all a mistake. Some of the Haku are good. Stranger, speak with Haran, the High Priest's son. He will tell you the truth. Hmm. Why would they just be so if they were not something to it? I will get to the bottom of this. Good. If Tansy has not imagined all of this, you will surely find this Huron creature without too much difficulty. There are not so many caves in the southern jungle, but be on your guard all the same. The Haku Part Zoo. I hear that I am to set you free. 
Hi, please do. What a pleasure to be taking someone's ring off for a change. I imagine you've had quite enough of Celia. Quiet, huh? Uh, she takes her job seriously and does it well. Here's what is left of your gear. Those engravings on your medallion are unusual. I've never seen anything like them. Bite marks. Those are animal bites on the mercenary's arm. What? Oh no. Step back. Don't touch me. What is wrong? These are just flesh wounds. Bites from animals in the forest. Are you mad? Those animals carry the plague. I feel fine. The plague is raging through the island. By the fates, you have it. Stop. Be calm. Tell me what you know about this, this plague. Anyone who is infected with it is transformed into a murderous creature. Animals carry the disease in their bite, and you have been bitten. It is only a matter of time now. Do you know this to be true? Why would I create such a nightmare? Of course it's true. Where did this plague come from? They say the dark wizards created the disease to lay waste to Valdus's enemies. Who are the... Dark wizards. They are Valdus' greatest weapons. They're hundreds of years old and beyond evil. Long ago, they turned to a form of magic so evil, it destroys those who use it. How did it affect these dark wizards? They are slowly dying. It is said that they even ingest Voldane to keep the black magic at bay, which tortures them. They are horrible creatures, and they use their own suffering to fuel the wicked magic they cast. Can such creatures uh, truly exist? It is as like a tale told to restrain wandering children. It is no tale for you live it. Please, you must leave before you infect us all. Surely uh, there must be a cure. Many have hoped that. Some believe the stories about the healing properties of the sacred waters within the elven shrine. Others accept their fate and enter the exile colony. I refuse to die. Not after all of this. Where is this shrine? I will not quench the hope that burns in your breast. But be aware that many have tried to reach the shrine, and none have returned. Tell me where it is. Travel past the Morden Towers until you reach the Elven Ruins. You'll find the shrine there. There used to be a shorter route, but became overrun with the Haku, and we had to block it off. Past the Morden Towers very well. Take this vial. Use it to hold the elven waters, if you reach the shrine. Here are your things. Goodbye. I weep for your fate. Say your tears. When we meet again, I will not have suffered the fate you fear. Farewell. Have you made your funeral plans? How should we bury you? Or maybe you'd like us to burn your corpse, as is the Dryad custom. I'm not going to die. If you say so, personally, I think we should put you out on the river in a flaming raft. That would be something. Shut the fuck up. I will sell you a pet, but only because when you die of the plague, it will be able to find its own way back. Do you carry anything special? I see something with great power. Alas, nothing unusual, sickly one. But I have been trying to acquire some dire wolves lately, ever since I discovered they existed. What a magnificent addition to my shop they would be. Have you heard of them? Yes, do you have any in stock? Alas, no, uh, however... Yes? There is a noteworthy mage living here in Ireland named Rokar. He knows how to obtain a dire wolf, but I have not had time to visit him. Track him down and tell him that I am interested in obtaining a dire wolf specimen for my shop. If you don't run off, I'll make it worth your while. Very well, I shall look at you. Excellent. Rokar can often be found talking with historian Erisu in the Great Hall. Here you have earned the trust of Warden Celia, not to be attached to the shore. 
I'll help if you care to earn some coin. I could uh, use a generous amount of coin. What do I? Good choice. Now listen closely. Beyond those ugly towers the Morton have built on the western ridge lies an ancient elven shrine. Inside, there is rumored to be a secret vault containing the Sapphire of the Elves. If the rumors are true, this is truly a relic of historical importance. What is the tree? And what is the tree? Most secret vaults are called such a forest. My sources tell of a secret mechanism you must discover to gain entrance to the outer vault rooms. Once you have done that, the inner vault itself is opened with a series of weighted rocks that need to be positioned correctly. I'm sure you can figure it out. Hmm. I will take a look and see what I can find. Very well. Stranger, do do I detect the accent of Amenlu in your speech? Ah, uh, why do you ask? I visited there once in happier times. It was, it was my poor daughter's favorite place. Not no longer. No, my daughter is lost to me, killed by those foul Morden beasts when they took the Temple of the Coast. That is tragic. Is there anything I can do? Hmm. Perhaps. My daughter was young when we last visited the Elves' fair town of Amenlu. She pestered me for days for one of those curiosities their craftsmen make. But we were poor, and I refused. Now that she is gone, I would give anything to grant her wish, even if she will never see it. A curiosity for Amenlu? Aye, something to remember Amenlu by. I do not have much to reimburse you with. But perhaps you will find this of use, for bartering purposes. I make these dolls for a living, though there have been so few children lately that they barely support me. Very well, I will do what I can. You have my thanks. When next you are in Amenlu, be on the lookout for some sort of memorabilia. Sorry, no beds for plague victims. Please leave quickly. You'll drive off customers. Now that I say hello to some former members of my party. Make up your mind. Do you want me to come with you or not?
Tar, I hear you're planning on leaving the village. At a time like this, are you mad? I have no fear of any Morden. Morden are the least of your worries. There's a monster lurking in the forest. The Haku Beast? Come, Ariane, that creature never existed. That's what everyone says. All I know is that it nearly killed us. Are you sure you know what you're talking about? Listen, Katral and I were in the woods several weeks ago when we stumbled across its lair. I saw it. Teeth like blades, horrible eyes that pierced right through you. It was terrifying. And it pursued us right to the town gates. We're lucky to be alive. Ariane, the jungle heat has got the better of you. Do you really expect me to believe such a wild tale? Why won't you believe me? I will look into this, but only to prove you wrong, Ariane. For your own sake. Hmm, I'm not sure. They say it serves the Haku. It lives in a magical cave and it will destroy anyone that trespasses onto Haku's sacred ground. It's such a vile beast that the Haku must sacrifice a living being just to call it up. They use a magical ceremonial blade to do the deed. And as soon as they call the beast, even they must flee because it will kill everything in sight. like the foolishness of a mind too easily swayed by a child's tale. Wait, there's more. There's only one way to kill the beast. By using a blade blessed with the magic of the ones who command it. The Haku. Ariane, you are living needlessly in fear. I will find this lair and reassure you that there is no such beast. You will know the truth, but by then it will be too late. It will kill you. It will do no such thing. And besides, there is nothing I like better than learning the truth. You cannot approach the beast's lair unprotected. If you hope to defeat it, you must first equip yourself with a magical Haku blade. The infidels have many camps in the northern jungle. I have heard their foul drums beating every night. Surely you will be able to find one of their blades in the ritual camps. I know of at least one ritual camp far to the north, near the river. I will go, Ariane. But I seriously doubt I'm going to find either blade or monster. Very well, we will investigate. Alright then. I'll go to the roll car. You may have traveled far. But I will wager you have not encountered the kind of terrible beasts that I have dealt with. Wait. Bestseller Neda has asked me to find a direwolf. She said you might know where to acquire one. Oh, is that all? Oh my, she doesn't expect much. Well, a test to my abilities is always welcome. But. I will need accompaniment. There will be Gnoll beasts to contend with, as well as Morden Growl mages, who often patrol the rift locations. If that doesn't frighten you, join me, and I'll attempt it. What say you? I will do it. Where do we go from here? Good. Head out the south gate. Follow the path as if you were going to the exile colony. Just past the ruined amphitheater, leave the path and go to the riverside to the north. Cross the footbridge and enter the small cave on the other side. There is a short tunnel. Go through it. On the other side, the rift will be directly in front of you. Take care of the Morden in the area, and I will meet you there. All right, then.
It is tragic how many of the Dryad Sisterhood have perished in the fighting. These Dryads are not prepared for war. Now, elven folks such as myself are accustomed to loss. Those who seek involvement in others' affairs must accept the dangers that come with. Does your elven the ability of foresight not prevent losses? Foresight can help, I. But it cannot be willfully controlled, and it seems matters close to one's heart are always shadowed in the dream world. I would give anything to cheer my young daughter, but alas, I am unable to give her good news. My husband and I came to Irilon to assist the Dryads, he to train them in the dance of blades, I to teach them our methods of mending wounds. He, he is missing, but I would certainly know if he was gone from me forever. He will return when he is able, one day. Sadly, our daughter Chalet does not understand and is most distressed. What is uh, that there on the table? That is a rare flask of elven ale. I'd be willing to give it to you in exchange for something that will cheer my young child. <laughs> Would this uh, doll do? A child's doll. That is just the thing to make my daughter smile again while we wait for my husband's return. I promised you the flask of elven ale. Here it is. by the wicked morn. And finally it was here, when I could bear it no more, that I jumped to my death. Would that I had no so it was a death could not dull the loss. Put your mind to rest it. I will avenge your loss of laughter and the deaths of uh, so many others. The morning will fall by my hand. From any other, I would consider it farce. But you, I can now see things my mortal eyes could not. You could do it. If you swear and I can rest, I can go to my beloved who waits on the shining shores beyond. Farewell, spirit. Go to your rest. Away. What? Where? Uh, um, never mind. It's just a stick. Oh, I hate insects. I see them everywhere, around every corner. I feel their horrible beady eyes staring at me out of the darkness with ill intent. Oh. You need help. Perhaps you should pay a visit to the elves of Amalu. Ah, Amalu! A 
few weeks ago, I set out for Anulu to visit my cousin. While I was going through the Kithraya Caverns, I found myself lost. And? Have you ever been to the deeper tunnels of the Kithraya Caverns? There are insects everywhere. I admit that it did not bother me at the time. I am a dryad after all. And at first I, I thought I had stumbled upon a windfall fit for the Queen. I decided I would go back to Ireland and let the foragers know of our good luck. I turned around, began walking through the caverns, trying to retrace my route. I must have taken another wrong turn. I stumbled down a side passage and ran into the biggest insect I had ever seen. Its carapace was larger than the biggest house in Ireland. Eyes like the darkest pits burning into my mind. Things dripping venom. Whoa! I can't understand how that uh, my father. I do not know how I found my way home, but I did. And here will I stay, so long as that terrible beast lives. Forever will I be cursed to see it around every corner, beneath every bed. Oh! I will find it and dispose uh, of it for you. Then you will have no need uh, to live in fear. Would you really? If you are able to manage this feat, I will be beyond grateful to you. I think I would no longer be afraid were I to see its severed head with my own two eyes. Rest assured, I will bring you its head as a trophy. That will put your fears to rest. Farewell. Time to continue in the western grain shop.
the ground you can see. Well, stranger, it seems that you've been granted your freedom. You may pass. I'm seeking the other shrine. Is this the guard path? What? Why would you want... Syria, have mercy. Yes, the shrine is at the top of the ridge. Go now, and you may take any supplies you need. Just go quickly. Thank you. I will not endanger you. again.
57. Are you kidding me? Don't be stuck!
No! Don't slow down!
Did you see the way those monsters fell before me? Wasn't watching. Had my own concerns. There's no need to get snooty. I was just pointing out how well I did in this battle. It's easy to judge who is good and who isn't. At the end of the day, the good ones are still breathing. Twenty two. I get it. Not like this, idiot. Get out. Idiot. 
It's you. Yes, it's still me. How can it be? I don't know. Perhaps you could tell me that. Then the cure works. You just say so. How did it feel when you drank the waters? How did they taste? Honestly, I don't feel much different than I did before I left. The water was very sweet though. Like even honey air. Then you are immune. The elven waters have transformed you against all hope. And you saved us as well. There are so many dryads in the exile colony. I'm afraid uh, I cannot help them. There was just the smallest trickle remaining within the fountain. Tell me it is not so. Dozens of infected sisters are living in exile. It is possible that more of the waters will gather uh, in the basin. But at the rate it was filling, a single vial would take uh, weeks to fill. That will not be fast enough to save the infected. Oh, to come so close to the cure only to have it snatched away. Fate is cruel this day. Well, I do have a small amount left in my mind. Then you must share that water with the exile colony. I do not wish ill your people, but I'm wary. My only desire is to return my hometown of Amal. The exiles never lifted a finger against you. They need you now. Imagine their suffering. You won't just stand by and let them die, will you? I'm willing to hand uh, my vial of Elven waters over to you. Use as you will. This life eh, of a mercenary adventure throughout the strange lands, I don't think it is for uh, me anymore. But both destinations lie on the same road. To leave this island, you must take the portal on the far side. Leave by the south gate, then go into the southern jungle to the exile colony. Continue on to the Kithraya caverns and through them. Perhaps I could accompany you as a guide. I do not wish to expose you to the dangers. I understand. If you change your mind, I will be here in town. Please do not forget about the exiles. My treasure hunting adventurer has returned. Have you succeeded in recovering the sapphire? Hi, I have it here. My friend, this is indeed a lovely specimen. I know just the collector who will appreciate it. You have done well. I promised you a fine reward, did I not? Well, you shall have it. This should repay you for your troubles. A pleasure. Safe travels. I want to thank you for asking me to join you. I've been called a thief by some from your own hometown. It's a lie, but people believe what they choose. A thief? What do you mean? Uh, it's just talk. 
Never mind. I need this. The first nettle cluster. Let's see the guy going to Rex. Much? No fucking way! Now it works. Yes, it works.
Did you do it? Did you kill the beast? We killed something in the forest. Did it have teeth like blades? Yes, yes it did. And piercing eyes? I suppose you could say that. And a savage soul? It was quite aggressive, yes. It was also less than two feet tall. I took its head to show you. That's it! Ah! It looks scary, even dead. Scary? Marianne, you described it as a big, vicious monster. I never said it was big. Just terrifying. Thank you for killing it. Ariane, I don't think I'll ever speak to you again for as long as I live. Ah, uh, Tar, don't be angry with me. Please, take this with my gratitude. I've learned my lesson. From now on, I'll let people believe any foolishness they like. Greetings, friend. My potions are always brewed fresh, and in these troubled times, a new spell can always come in handy. We continue here. Uh, subscribe to our channel. Bye bye. We continue next time. Bye bye.